interesting that I would import myself all the way to your country and then you would just look at me a short time as a dude that like looks like he's 40 years old that has a lot going for him. So yeah, I'm not into the boom boom short time. And yeah, I, I'm aware that I could live in Pattaya for much cheaper, but at the same time, um, if you're looking for dating and like finding a girlfriend and stuff, why bother? Like, what's the point? I mean, uh, Philippines is where it's at. You will have so many more options for dating and so many more girls that are genuinely interested in you and they all look like similar. Uh, Thai and Filipinas are not that far off from each other. It's not like Thai girls are gorgeous and all Filipinas are ugly or something. So there's really no point in uh, going to the sister country to save a few bucks, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, I, I prefer the Philippines. But, yeah, I'm well aware that Thailand, I could live in a luxury condominium like my BGC with an ocean view for 280 bucks. Or a couple of months ago, you could have. I heard the Chinese are coming back now, so the prices are going up. But, yeah, it's cheaper. But uh, I don't care. And I do love Thailand, and I'm not saying I won't go visit there and that uh, I don't really have a thing for Thai girls. I do. But I don't do boom, boom, short time ever. Like, I never would even once. Most Ferengs I've met just take freelance and entire pay for play. I don't like that. That's exactly my thing. I simply will not do that. Wow, look at that sunset. Look at the boat passing through the sun just dropping underneath the water. Yeah, I just will not do that. I never have in my life. Like I was friends with a lot of like dancers in Las Vegas and like girls that we would laugh at the guys that pay them and stuff. I'm on like the other side of that. I just would never in a million years do that. And my buddy Chris got into that. He was like a stud dude that had a hot girlfriend and then they broke up and he was all devastated and he started paying women. And I told him, I was like, bro, once you pay, why would it be free the next time? Like, that's going to fuck with your self-esteem. If you're a customer, you're a customer, homie. Like, I'm screaming this on the beach and people are looking at me. But, yeah. So, that's... Yeah, I just would never do it. Never in a million years. So, I just... Honestly, Thailand ain't for me, bro. Like, and don't get me wrong. There's guys over there that can hook up with bad, like, smoking hot girls. But most of them are rich and it's sort of an exchange in the long term. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And uh, I don't want to go into details. But, yeah, that, that's a problem for me. I need to, a girl to be, uh, yeah, absolutely not uh, doing that. Pain for, yeah, that's that's the facts, bro. Like, I, I get it. Like, I've been the rich boyfriend or whatever. I don't mind paying for a meal if I'm you're my girlfriend. I love you and stuff. But I just, I don't do transactional, homie. Like, I would never would. I don't care if I'm 80 years old. I just, I, I've never done it and I never will. And again, I'm on like the other side of that. Like in Vegas, I dated dancers and like we laughed at all the guys that would go in there and drop like 10 bands on them and stuff. I just could never be that guy. I, I just couldn't do it, man. It's just not in my, it's not in my DNA. I've never had a girl say that to me in my life. In fact, I'll say that to them when they say, start saying stuff like, oh, I need help. And they, thank God those people move. I'll be like, they'll say like, oh, I need help and stuff like that. And I will, hey, Sentinel, what's cracking? Yeah, I will just simply say, like, they never ever say that to me directly, maybe because I come off a certain way. But when they even just say like, oh, my phone bill's late or stuff like that. And I'll say, oh, it sounds like you're looking for a customer. Good luck or whatever. Like, I'll be like, just find a dude that's a little bit older and a little bit heavier. And, you know, not some dude like with blue eyes or whatever. And you, yeah, thank you, Sentinel. That's what I was thinking. People are going to love this shit on the replay, even if we only got 10 people right now or people coming and going. But yeah. Um, at the end of the day, it, girls never hit me with that. I'm looking for a customer. But if they do start just telling me about life's hardships, I just say, it sounds like you're looking for a customer. Find a dude that's a little heavier than me, possibly 20 years my senior. They'll be happy to pay. I'm just being real. That's what I say. And that's honestly from the heart. You know what I mean? I, uh, yeah. I, if a girl starts hitting me with that life's issues, that's the thing. Once you pay, you're a fucking customer. So why would it ever be free again in your life? I'll tell you why. It wouldn't. You're a fucking customer. You've entered the customer frame. I don't care if you're 21 years old and you're, and you're gorgeous. You're a fucking gorgeous supermodel, Justin Bieber, fucking you're Drake or whatever. Dude, you're a customer, homie. You paid. So therefore, it's pay for play. So if you get, like, I, I get it. I've been the rich boyfriend. I get it. A girl's life's going to improve if she gets with me. But I'm never going to do anything transactional and I'm not just going to like dole out money to her like I'm some fucking 280 pound 70 year old. I just won't do it. If you're when you're around me, you get to eat what I eat. If we go to Starbucks, you get a coffee. 
you, your lifestyle just you're, you want to you get to you get to hang out in a BGC high rise on a high floor, go in the infinity pool, all that. I want to go to to uh, Boracay. Guess who's coming with me? You get to experience this right here. I'm already elevating you to a 100x for the average Filipina girl. Am I going to transactionally take care of your bills and be your sugar daddy? Never in one million years. Never gonna happen. You're looking for that? Find a 66 year old that eats whatever he wants, never been to the gym, doesn't have the personality that I have and all that shit, you got it covered. Find yourself a fucking customer that has no value but his bank account. You're golden. That's all you gotta do. There's a lot of dudes that have nothing to offer, that don't have a good personality, they eat pizza all day, they've never been to a gym, they are legitimate senior citizens, those gentlemen will be proud to pay for you and your whole family. Thai bar owners on YouTube are feeding us BS. Yeah, I've seen those little live streams from the Thai dudes that own the bars and stuff, and they'll show those girls that aren't even hot and stuff. My ex-girlfriend smokes all those girls. I had one of the hottest Thai girls ever. Well said, I agree. Go for an old, that's what I tell them. I just tell them, hey, no, no problem at all. They never hit me with the, you're, I'm looking for a customer, but they will hit me with like, oh my God, my phone bill's late and this and that. And I'll say, cool. I'll say, find a dude that's, you know, doesn't weigh 165 pounds and isn't, you know, mid forties that was banging, smoking hot 22 year old white girls in America six months ago. And he'll be more than happy to finance your life, put your family on an allowance. You're golden, baby. But with me, no, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. I'm too good looking for that. I have way too much to offer than that. I'm in shape. I came over here 20 years early. Nah, bro. I didn't fly 8,000 miles to be your sugar daddy. I wasn't a sugar daddy in the United States and I was hooking up with girls in their 20s. So why in the world would I be a sugar daddy in, in the Philippines where every girl wants me? No. And also part of it is your confidence. Know your value. Know that you're that guy. Sometimes girls are kind of sniffing you out trying to figure out if you're that guy or you're not that guy. You know what I mean? Know your value. Know that you're that dude. If you came, if you were that dude in your country, then you're already going to have it. But yeah, you got to know your value because a lot of times girls are kind of like sniffing you out. Like, oh, this dude come over here on like some devastated low self-esteem stuff. Or is he just that dude? Is he like a traveler, like diver, like kite surfer dude or whatever? Like girls can tell when you walk into a room and you're making eye contact or or like, you know what I do, to be honest with you, is like there's smoking hot girls around my area every day that know that I exist. And every guy's kind of trying to get with them. And you know what I do? I completely ignore them. And they seem to be noticing that. I am completely ignoring them. I'm talking to everybody bet them. Yeah, I'd be down for that, Billy. If I met a gorgeous girl like an Isan or something, I would be down for that. Yeah, I'm cool with like the province life uh, anywhere. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I could actually handle it.